We're at the Crater Diamond State Park's East Drain. Guys, uh, here there's Troy Savage loading up buckets and uh, Solomon Bauman loading up buckets on the other side. Jack Paradin standing over there. And uh, I wanted to show you these uh, rocks. We talked one time about magmatic olivine lamperite. That's what this is. And this is unique. Do you notice the color difference? This has a purple coating on it. This is an opalized coating. It's not opal like the gem opal, but it's an opalized coating, and it's, it's real thin. Uh, it could even be chipped off of there. But if you see this, this is what it is. It's an opalized coating on here. And uh, the rock itself is not blue, but this is blue-ish. And if you wet it, you know, it's kind of neat too. Uh, but anyway, that's an... Uh, I don't know why right in this one spot so many of the rocks have the opalized coating, but they do. And I just thought I'd point it out because I don't know a lot about geology, but I ask questions and I ask a geologist, what is that stuff on there? And he said, opalized coating. Also, see all these specks in here? That is your olivine. Uh, so when they talk about magmatic olivine lamprite, that, that's the olivine in it. Um, so, pretty, pretty neat specimens to look at and study and just what all is in this stuff and what's on it. And uh, see all the cracks. See, I told you this was a really a hard volcanic rock. Well, it cooled and cracked and then hot waters washed in the cracks and filled the seams with calcite. And if you take a little acid and drip on this, it'll foam up like Alka-Seltzer uh, calcite. That's one way to identify calcite is uh, the way it reacts to acid. So anyway, right, right in this area, and to let you know where we're at, we'll pan around here. We're not far from the Strawn Wagner diamond shovel marker. Uh, 303 carat was found here as flawless, cut to a 109 and is on display in the Crater of Diamond State Park in their visitor center in the museum. So you can see the diamond there that came out of here uh, and it was perfect in cut color and clarity and 1.09 carats cut. Not very many people in the wash pavilion yet today because they're out digging the material they're gonna wash in a little bit. Jack Paradin in the red shirt talking to Troy Savage from Antlers, Oklahoma. They both have found a lot of diamonds here. And Solomon Ballman is digging, filling buckets, a whole line of buckets. He'll be washing later. And uh, Here's a look at the South Wash Pavilion. As I said, not many people washing over there yet today. People are filling their buckets. Uh, <clears throat> the south end of the East Drain, there's a lot of people looking and even filling buckets. And there's a good place to work. But uh, part of this field has not been plowed and that was actually at my request. Um, if you've had this much erosion and nobody on the field, you really don't want it plowed right now, even though it needs the grass does need to be turned under. But you don't want to turn under the diamonds that have been exposed by all this erosion. So before long, the park will get in here. Another reason they haven't plowed it, it has been too wet. We've just had that much rain that the plow would get stuck over here in this lower end now. They plowed it two months ago before the search field closed, and you can tell how well mounded up the rows are here. But um, where the grass is growing, they did not plow because it was too wet at that time. But they plow for maximum erosion, so the water will run to the drains and take the silt away and leave the diamonds exposed on the surface or concentrated in the drains. And that's what these people are doing, is digging in the ditches and drains scraping, uh, not digging, but scooping, scratching, and filling their buckets with gravel that's concentrated between the rows.